The Communist Party of India Marxist Liberation is a communist political party in India. CPI ML Liberation is a faction of the 1970s CPI ML. It has presence in several states of the country where it operates through various mass organizations workers, farmers, women, youth, student unions. History In 1973 the original Communist Party of India Marxist CPI ML was split, with one group led by Sharma and another by Mahadev Mukherjee. Vinod Mishra initially belonged to Mukherjee's party, but he and the Burdwan Regional Committee broke with Mukherjee in September 1973. Mishra sought contact with the Sharma group, but the Burdwan Regional Committee was later divided and Mishra denounced the political line of Sharma a critique, which amongst other things, called for the formation of open mass organizations, a move that almost constituted a heresy in the CPI ML movement at the time. In 1974 Mishra came into contact with Sabrata Dutta Jauhar, a leader of armed struggle in the plain areas of Bihar. On 28 July 1974, the second death anniversary of Charu Majumdar a new party central committee was formed with Jauhar as General Secretary and Mishra and Swadesh Bhattacharya as members. The reorganized party became known as the anti -Lin -Biao group whilst the faction of Mahadev Mukherjee constituted the pro -Lin -Biao group. The anti Lin Biao group became known as the CPI ML Liberation. Mishra served as West Bengal Secretary of the new party organization. Under Mishra's leadership new Dalams guerrilla squads were formed. In November 1975 Jauhar was killed in the midst of Lal Sena activities. Mishra became the new party general secretary in a reorganized five-member central committee. Mishra organized a second party congress, held clandestinely in the rural areas of Gaia district in February 1976. The congress unanimously re-elected Mishra as general secretary. Reorientation and rectification Mishra was the political architect of the process of reorientation of CPI ML liberation. By 1976 the party had adopted a position that armed struggle would be combined with building a broad anti-Congress Democratic Front movement. The process further elaborated through an internal rectification process initiated in late 1977. Party study circles and party schools were started from central to block level of the party structure. The theory of two-line tactics started to develop. In 1981 party tried to unify the other splintered ML factions. The party organized a unity meet with 13 mega-leaders factions to form a unified leading core. But the initiative was a failure. The IPF. In the early 1980s CPI ML liberation began building an open non-party mass movement in direct to the original policy of CPI ML, the Indian People's Front founded in April 1982. Nagbushan Patnaik became the president of IPF. The construction of IPF, through which the underground party could develop links to other democratic forces on the basis of a popular, democratic and patriotic program, was based on interventions by Mishra. However although Mishra broke with the dogmas of the early CPI ML, he never renounced Charu Majumdar's legacy. In the Third Party Congress it was decided that IPF will participate in parliamentary elections. In 1989 IPF's Rameshwar Prasad won the Lok Sabha seat from ERA In 1990, IPF won seven seats from Bihar Legislative Assembly. Special initiatives taken for restructuring the party and open up. IPF hold its first rally on 8 October 1990 in Delhi. The ASDC In 1985, the party launched People's Democratic Front in Karbi Anglong district of Assam which won a seat in state assembly. In 1987 PDF was transformed to Autonomous State Demand Committee a sustained mass movement by ASDC helped it to sweep district council elections in 1989. In 1981, ASDC's Jayanta Rongpi became a MP in parliament. 
In 1996, ASDC was able to send its five-member group in Assam Assembly as MLA. In 1992, after the Fifth Party Congress held in Kolkata, the party comes out in the open from its underground status. Mishra was re-elected General Secretary of the Party at the Sixth Congress of CPI ML Liberation in Varanasi in October 1997. Present The Communist Party of India Marxist Liberation, led by Dipankar Bhattacharya is a surviving faction of the CPI ML. Liberation has established legal overground structures trade unions, student groups, peasant organizations etc. and participates in elections. In the Lok Sabha elections in 1999 the party won 0.3% of the votes and one seat the former ASDC seat from Assam. In the 2004 elections the seat was lost, mainly due to a split within ASDC. As of 2016, the party has been able to send its representatives to the state legislative assemblies of Bihar and Jharkhand as well as the panchayats of Bihar, Jharkhand, Uttar Pradesh, West Bengal, and Punjab. Publications The English language publication of the party is Liberation, and thus the party is called CPI ML Liberation. Apart from Liberation, the party publishes a central Hindi weekly organ, Samkalin Lokyud. Some state party committees publish their own organs, like the weekly Akar Dashabrati in West Bengal, Nabisfulinga in Tripura, Tipuri in Tamil Nadu, Telugu Liberation in Andhra Pradesh, Kannada Liberation in Karnataka, Samkali Lok Morcha in Punjab, etc. Mass organizations The main mass organizations of the party are Revolutionary Youth Association All India Students Association All India Agricultural Labour Association All India Peasants Coordination Committee All India Central Council of Trade Unions all India Progressive Women's Association AIPWA Autonomous State Demand Committee ASDC Topic States Topic Bihar The party has a long-standing conflict with the feudal landlords since the beginning of CPI ML. Siwan, Bojpur, era are the citadel of CPI ML movement. Topic: <laughs> Bihar Legislative Assembly election 2015. CPI ML Liberation emerged as the third largest party in Bihar Legislative Assembly election 2015. The party contested jointly along with CPI, CPI M, RSP, Forward Bloc, and Suki C as a third alternative to the National Democratic Alliance and the Mahagathbandan of Lalu Prasad Yadav and Nitish Kumar. The party won three seats from Siwan District Satyadeo Ram from Dharauli, Katahar District Mabub Alam from Balrampur and Bojpur District Sudama Prasad from Tarari each. The party has a vote percentage of 1.5% in the state. All the left parties together have a vote percentage of 3.59%. Jharkhand Since the separation of Jharkhand from Bihar important places like Ranchi, Danbad, Garida, Koderma, Jamtada and others have been field of work of the party. In Jharkhand the party is the representative of regional Adivasis who have conflicts with corporates and government against improper land seizure without proper rehabilitation. The party also has conflicts with the local coal mafias. <laughs> Jharkhand Panchayat election 2015 In Garita district the party emerged as the single largest party and won 11 Zilla Parishad seats during the Panchayat election of 2015. Topic: 
Jharkhand Legislative Assembly election 2014 The party contested in cooperation with state left parties like Marxist Coordination Center MCC, CPI, and CPI -M as an alternative to the BJP and Inc. led alliances. The party won one seat from Garida District Rajkumar Yadav from Donwar. The party got 1.5% of vote in the state. All the left parties together got 2.5% vote in the state. Punjab The party here represents the landless Dalit laborers through the Mazdor Mukti Morcha which is affiliated to AIALA. The Green Revolution mechanized the agriculture since the rule of Indira Gandhi. But the landless remained landless. The Malwa Uprising in 2009 there was a land siege by the landless farmers in the Malwa region which includes Singruar, Mansa, Batinda under the leadership of the CPI ML liberation, this was as a result of unprovided free land as was promised by the ruling parties as per Punjab Land Consolidation and Fragmentation Act of 1961. The protesters struck a deal with the government to legally allot them lands as per provisions within three months. The government demanded immediate vacation of the sieged lands. The Famers did not agree which led to a government crackdown on May 21. 